Hello and welcome to the Nerdy Photographer Podcast. I am your host, Casey Patchett. And in today's Nerdlet episode, we are going to cover some tips for long exposure photos. So if you're taking long exposure photos, whether you're doing landscape pictures, uh, waterscapes, or you know light painting, things like that, here are three useful tips to help you get better pictures. Number one, get a tripod. It might seem simple, but one of the biggest elements of getting great long exposure shots keeping your camera still even a little bit of movement can make things blurry and totally ruin your picture that means you need to stabilize your camera and what's the simplest way to do that well a tripod whatever you're photographing whether it's landscapes urban settings starry skies a quality tripod is literally the base on which your photos are built so i'm going to post some links in the episode description to some good tripods here's one thing that i will say the more important it is to you, like these photos are to you, the more money you should spend on a tripod because cheap tripods are, you know, just notoriously bad. So spending the money on a tripod, if it's something you're going to use, you plan to use for years to come, it will definitely be a return on investment. Please feel free to spend, you know, the more money on that is a investment well, uh, it, it returns to you, you know, multiple times. All right, tip number two, use a trigger. Another part of keeping your camera steady is keeping your hands off your camera. You can use a remote trigger or even like a cable release that actually connects to your camera to keep your hands from disturbing your camera while the shutter is released. Even if your camera's on a tripod, your finger can apply enough pressure to disturb it, especially if you're doing really long exposures like you do for astrophotography. Personally, I use Cam Ranger as my remote camera trigger, but you can also find similar triggers from Case Air, Pluto, and Arsenal, and I'm sure there are plenty of others out there. I will put a link to my Cam Ranger uh, info in the episode notes for this episode. And my final, uh, final tip for long exposures is use a neutral density filter. We had that episode on what our different uh, camera filters and lens filters are. So use a neutral density filter. If you've ever wondered how photographers get those really long, beautiful, like, exposures of waterfalls or rivers where the water just like looks it's totally blurred out and everything else and other things are totally in focus well it's most likely that they're using a neutral density filter a neutral density filter is like kind of it's not like sunglasses those are more like polarizing filters it's different uh it darkens evenly the entire image allowing you to use long exposures and very wide open apertures even in brightly lit conditions like in the middle of the day without blowing out the highlights or you know bright areas of your photo you use that neutral density filter. Uh, they're measured in degrees of darkness or stops of light that they block out. Uh, I use filters with a specific number of stops when I'm photographing portraits, so I can use a low aperture in bright conditions. But when I'm it comes to long exposures, I usually carry like long exposure shots in, you know, of like landscapes and things. That I personally carry a variable neutral density filter that ranges from one to twenty-two stops because that way I don't have to carry a bunch of different filters with me when I go out into the woods to take pictures. That's me. I'm not primarily a landscape photographer. So, you know, a variable ND filter is fine by me, but you may decide otherwise. But I highly recommend using a neutral density filter. If you do a lot of long exposure photos, it'll keep you from blowing out the brightly lit parts of your image. And that's all for this episode. You can follow along on Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and TikTok at The Nerdy Photo. And please reach out to me there and let me know what other sorts of topics you'd like to hear about in future episodes, whether it's a short nerdlet episode like this one with primarily technical tips or one of our longer interview episodes. Please reach out to me at the nerdy photo on Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and TikTok. You can also please subscribe to the podcast. I mean, more listeners always welcome. Tell your friends, leave a review. This is an independent podcast, which means your feedback and your effort in telling other people about the podcast go a very long way in helping this podcast succeed. And you want us to succeed, don't you? Okay, that's great. Until next next time, stay safe and stay nerdy.
In a world of utter randomness, one podcast stood out from the bunch, and it was the amazing world of talking shiz. <coughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Um, yeah, it's just mainly randomness. And focus is it's definitely not being not focused there. on at all. No. <laughs> Uh, our podcast is definitely um, no theme at all. It's literally random and talk about literally everything and throwing in random jokes at any given time. Yeah. We're on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. And, so go ahead, tune in. New episodes weekly. And we're international. International. Very, yes. very well. So tune in. Follow yeah. us on Twitter. See you there. <laughs>